All right, let's take a look at some of the uh, impacts over the region. So uh, this is southeast Virginia, including the eastern shore. Uh, so you can see two to four inches of rain, some spots maybe up to five inches. And so this is uh, the rain is increasing this afternoon. Uh, it's going to be even more so this evening and tonight. Winds gusting 30 to 45 near the coast, I think. I got higher at the coast. I think that's mostly near the coast, and that's mostly around the evening. I think during the day we got some gusts of 30. Minor to moderate tidal flooding. That will be a problem. And then uh, so for uh, the Outer Banks and uh, parts of North Carolina along the coast, uh, we can see some heavy rain, two to five inches, some spots maybe in four to six inches. You're closer to the center. So uh, it I've, says 50 to 70. Now, I think that would be just around Hatteras for that possibility. Most of the Outer Banks, I think, are looking at gusts of 50. But down towards Hatteras, it's possible you get a, few, a couple of gusts, 60 to 70. Uh, beach erosion, ocean overwash. That will be happening most likely starting tonight and going into tomorrow morning. Now, satellite radar showing where this area low pressure is. It's still to the south of us. It is wrapping in this cold front. So, you know, we keep we're tossing around the terms tropical. Is it non-tropical? Is it subtropical? I think it's going to be a bit of both. It's going to have some warm thunderstorms around it, but it's also interacting with the front. And that's important because it allows the uh, storm to kind of stretch out. That's why we're getting effects way ahead of it. That's why the rain is up here already, because it's not a pure tropical system. Now, we are going to have some tidal flooding. This is Sewell's Point. Six feet is going to be the highest one. That's Saturday morning. The uh, next one, sat or Friday afternoon, this afternoon, 3 p.m., four and a half feet. That is minor tidal flooding. So this one is going to be solid moderate. It goes down a little bit for the next one Saturday afternoon, but not that much. And you can see the low tide there doesn't go down that much. So we're going to see the worst problems on Saturday with tidal flooding. And there's probably going to be some rain out there too. Let's track the rain. Super Doppler 10 radar. Right now we've got rain all along the coast in the uh, Outer Banks up to Back Bay, and it's mostly on the light side. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of light rain at first. It will pick up later today. Let's track it with future track. So there's the rain increasing, moving off to the west. By about 8 a.m., we've already got rain in Hampton Roads. By 11 a.m., there's that rain spreads out quite a bit, reaches Mob Jack Bay, Lower Eastern Shore, Newport News, and definitely Virginia Beach and Currituck. And then here's 2.30 in the afternoon. We've got a lot of rain going on. And uh, it's now it's heavy, so it's it becomes heavy this afternoon into the evening. Evening commute will be a mess. This will be a problem because we'll have the rain and the wind going and it'll be heavy at times and maybe up through eight o'clock. So past that point, we're going to be seeing more rain, 11 o'clock, heavy downpours. And now we could even see some isolated tornadoes because this is kind of rain bands coming up from the south. And so that's going to be an issue overnight into tomorrow morning. Now the rain will keep going tomorrow and the model just updated a little bit ago. It keeps that rain going all the way into the afternoon, kind of like the GFS model had yesterday. So there you go. And uh, there's two o'clock in the afternoon. Rain continues, but then it tapers off after that point. And I think Saturday or Sunday rather will be drying things out. All right, so there's the GFS model. We won't look at that. Here's the rain totals. We're looking at two to three inches solid, some spots four to five, and even once in a while, our model's trying to put in a little bit more than that. So again, that could create some flooding by itself. Rain increases today. Wind increases today. Winds northeast 15 to 25, gusts to 30, and then it goes up even more this evening. And by the way, Nigel's been bringing us those waves lately. That could create some overwash, but Nigel's no longer tropical. There's your seven-day forecast. Rain increases today. Wind increases today. It slowly tapers off tomorrow. All right, so we're going to take a look at the more detail of this in the next half hour. But